Sambhida Om Shanti Peace to you Peace to me Hello and welcome to another video My name is Peter And today I want to talk about money Money, 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 money And spirituality Everybody thinks that the two don't actually mix together Money is the root of all evil, some people say Money doesn't actually exist. If you think about it, it's like numbers. Show me a number two. You can see the symbol for a number two. You can see two fingers. You can see two ears, two eyes, two nostrils. But show me two. Show me the number two. Not the symbol of the number two. Show me number two. Also show me 10 pounds of whatever 10 pounds are for the currency of the UK or Show me $10, you can see the representation of the $10, but where is the $10? It used to be backed by silver in the UK, gold by, in America, you used to be able to go to the treasury and exchange that money for the same uh, 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 weight of silver. All that's gone, that, that all went in 1971. But money is now created out of thin air. It's got no value to it. It's got no backing to it. And if you want to learn more about that, look into a cartoon called The American Dream. And it's very good. It just shows you the history of the money, especially in America. Um, uh, it's, it's astronomical what they've done. I think it was 1913. They had a meeting in, in Jekyll Island. They, they came up with the Federal Reserve System, which is the now the world monetary system with the private central banks running countries and they create money out of thin air and get the taxpayers not only to pay the money back but also the interest on that. Nice job if you can get it. Anyway, I don't want to talk about that, that's, that's out of the way. Money, money is like a, an exchange of energy. So if you do something for somebody and you give them your energy and they don't give you anything back, you're getting a, a karmic disbalance there. It's not fair. It's not right. You're breaking the laws of cause and effect. You're, you're causing something and the effect is not happening. So it's, it's like a theft, intellectual theft. It's another hot topic, but there you go. So money is just an energy. So if you do something spiritual for somebody, i.e. you do a healing session, say so you're an amazing healer and you heal somebody, and you don't actually receive the energy back, i.e. through money, it will come back in other ways, but if, it's a, if, it's, if you're worried about that, that's a fair exchange of energy. It's a fair exchange of money, energy to take money for something that you do. But with a healing, I understand now healing, since I've been training with body and brain, healing really needs to come from yourself if possible, because you will become addicted to your healer, i.e. your healer will become your redeemer. Your redeemer will be the one that you have to go to to get your healing done rather than actually going to yourself to get your healing done. So in a, an ideal world, we'd all be moving towards healing ourselves. But at the moment, we are using the redeemers to heal us. So this is where it gets very problematic because you're, you're becoming reliant on other people and this is how the world is starting to become becoming reliant on many different things when actually we could actually be all self-sufficient and we have a brain you can take back your brain you become more intelligent and therefore you become more self-sufficient so money and spirituality do meet is when you start to cherry pick spiritual concepts and sell them as a be and an all package. There's a lot of that going on at the moment. There's a lot of that going on at the moment. And it doesn't really give you the whole picture. It doesn't give you the whole picture. So, But to make money out of spirituality is okay. What, what are you supposed to do? If you realize, actually I have a higher purpose here. I, I need to go and either heal people or show them a different path or give them a different direction and you think you have so much integrity that you're not going to earn any money through that but you want to do it full time 
in today's world, what do you do? What do you do? How do you, how do you make that happen? Do you become a breatharian that lives in a cave? <laughs> well, you could do. Why not? Give it a go, see if it happens. There are people who are trying to, well, they do live off their breath. There are breatharians. Um, there was a, a guy who was sun gazing, I saw on uh, a while ago, and they put him in hospital for 30 days and, and they monitored him and he, he didn't eat or drink anything. What was that all about? And it's, so you can do that, but that is a, an enormous, enormous, enormous commitment to yourself. It's like asceticism. Asceticism when you purge your body of all the negativity out of it. If you want to go that far, that's brilliant. But I think most people are in a position where they don't want to be that uncomfortable. So <laughs> if you're a spiritual healer, it's okay to receive money for what you heal. Or a spiritual guide, it's okay to receive money because you need money in this matrix. There are many people now moving towards a currency-less society, like the free worlders, where they want everything to be an exchange of energy rather than having the money involved. And many people want to cut out the middleman, the one who's interacting and taking rather than exchanging. And more people want to be producers now. More people are starting to want to produce, they want to create their own content, they want to create their own lives. And therefore we need to be able to have something to, to give them when they improve our lives. I feel to leave, for instance, when I first went to the body and brain classes, I've got so much respect because I, I, I was skeptical at first when I, when I went into the class. We had two different instructors. One was like an English instructor who really worked me out physically. So I walked out of the class and go, oh, jeez. But my, my uh, instructor, she's my teacher and she was, she was my mentor. And um, I came out of the class and I just thought, well, I just feel amazing. I just feel amazing. I feel like I could do anything. Every class came out of that, whoa, this is incredible. And I was wondering what that was. And I now understand it's the connecting of your energies in the body. That's very spiritual. So is Ilchi Lee worth the money that you spend on yourself to get you to that position? Yes, yes. I hear a lot of people talk about body and brain, about the money and oh, it's so expensive. What value do you put on your spiritual awakening? What value do you put on yourself becoming the best version for yourself? You spend a fortune on a, a beautiful holiday, you spend a fortune on a house, you buy this beautiful big car, you buy all the fancy designer clothes. But when it comes to spending 100, 200, 500, 1,000, 5,000, 10,000 pounds on your spiritual growth and development, oh, no chance, no chance. So it's a bit out of balance that I, I personally feel. I feel it's really out of balance in, in the way that People really need to spend more on exploring themselves. You don't have to spend much, but if you want to go fast track, get your wallet out, spend your money. Give these people who are trying to spiritually enlighten the world your, your funding, because we all need money at the moment. It's a, it's a monetary world, which is going to get crazier and crazier with what's coming down the pipe. You, you go and listen to them talking at Davos, uh, they're going to be allowing central banks of each country to create any money they want to, to, to get themselves out of debt and this is going to be incumbent on the taxpayers which will make life even more and more difficult and finally you will have a overbearing government on your back because it's made so much debt and you're going to have crises like Argentina and the Weimar Republic where Money is just not going to be worth anything because they've created so much. You always create money on the value of the country that you're creating it for. Very basic economics, even I understand that. I, I did economics at O level and A level and I'm not a, a very good e economist at all. But very basic economics. You cannot create something or money where there's no value behind it. And that's what's happening today in today's world with quantitative easing. You've got uh, the three central banks now that are 
um, the, the major banks, which are all sovereign countries of the, their own right, like the Vatican, the City of London and uh, Columbia, Washington DC, they've all got their own central banks and they're all their own sovereign states so they can do whatever they want with the money. And yet we just sit here thinking this is normal. So it's not, and that's going to change as well, because I think I've seen many kids on, on the internet reading the Finance, Financial Times in, in the UK, reading paragraphs out of it, and then looking at the camera going, what is the matter with you? <laughs> Why are you putting up with this? <laughs> I agree with you. I agree with you. So money and spirituality, money is not the root of all evil. Money is just a com commodity commodity it's an invention it's a bit like a smartphone you know it's, it's 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 but it doesn't exist it's just but it's something that you can buy a smartphone with or you can buy a, a, a anything with your clothes your cars it's just a, it's just a means of exchange that's all money is it's not the root of all evil and if you are a spiritual person on a spiritual path and you want to share but you want to make a living out of it don't be scared about making money out of it don't be scared, don't be fooled by it's evil. Things are going to change. Don't worry about that. Things are going to change and we're going to make it happen. We're going to make it happen because we are amazing, all of us. So thank you for listening. If you, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Sarang Hamidah.